Safari for iOS has a built-in downloads manager that only appears when you've recently downloaded a file. Here on the iPad, I'm on this royalty-free background music site. We're able to listen to a preview of these songs. Or tap the download button and it can be saved to my device. I'll be asked if I want to begin the download. And when I do, a new downloads icon appears up in the toolbar. Tap to view the downloads list. This will display the file name and size of recent downloads. Let's download one other song here. And notice that I can choose to view this file rather than download it. In this case, that will open up the audio player so I can listen to the song here in Safari. Go back a page and I can download it. So now I have two items in my downloads list. Tap directly on a file and it will open the file. Tap the magnifying glass to the right and we can see where the files are saved. That will open up my files app. These were both saved to the downloads folder in my iCloud drive. So from here, I could move these to a different folder, share them, or bring them into an iMovie project. Now over on the iPhone, let's download this wallpaper image. Again, once I approve the download, the Downloads List button appears in the upper right. Tap, I can view the image, or view where it's saved. This one went to the same iCloud Drive Downloads folder. Notice the two songs that we downloaded on the iPad are displayed here as well. Back in Safari from the downloads list, I can swipe left on an item here to remove it from the list. Doing this will not delete the downloaded file. It only affects the list. If there are multiple items in the list, tap clear to remove them all at once. Clearing the downloads list will remove the button from the toolbar. In Safari Preferences and Downloads, we can change the default Downloads folder. Currently, this is set to the Downloads folder in my iCloud Drive on both of these devices. If your iCloud Drive is full or close to full, you might want to switch this to a folder on your device. That way, your downloads don't use up iCloud Drive storage space. Of course, they also won't sync between all your devices when stored only on an iPhone or iPad. Tap Other and we can specify an exact folder or create a new default downloads folder. For more on using the Files app for iOS, take a look at its full tutorial.